Okay, so I just want to give a little introduction. We'll be wrapping up in about 15-20 uh, minutes or so. But for those who are new, uh, give a introduction to the field of feelings. Now the field of feelings is a, is a very, I just want to talk a little bit about field of feelings and, and addiction and bulimia and uh, sugar addiction. Okay, so with any, field of feelings is just a general spiritual practice, but it can be done with addiction and is in fact a very, very powerful tool to release any addictive urge. So the addictive urge is a, you know, we often say craving, but the word craving to do something, like the craving to throw up or the craving to eat or the craving to gamble or have alcohol or the craving to do, even to shop, addictively shop, in shopping addiction, there's food addiction, there's the craving, the urge to throw up after eating, uh, all of these things, they are in fact, we would say in feeling the feelings, we don't use the word craving or the, we use the word, you can use the word feeling, because we, we're trying not to label that, that urge, that energy. It's not even, it's not even an, a feeling, it's an energy. Yeah, and it's not even an energy, it's a vibration. Now the, the thing with addiction is when you're learning to do feel the feelings is do not let go of identifying with the thought. When you have, a, when you have an energy or a feeling or a craving come up, there is a thought with that, detached from the thought, because the thought is the program. So when you have a feeling come up, if you attach to the thought, then you could eat a donut or you could throw up or you could have a drink or you could have whatever it is. So as the energy, whatever energy you're having come up, just, uh, and if you leave your email addresses, you can be on the email newsletter and you'll get these videos to you every week. Um, uh, and there's lots of videos on this on my YouTube channel as well, uh, Feel the Feelings, so there's endless free videos on there. So, um, so you just be with the, with the energy. So. Be with the energy, and then as you go into a thought, like, oh, I'd like to throw up, or I'd like to eat a donut, detach from the thought, and just be with the feeling. Because this is the feeling that the addiction wants you not to feel. Yeah? So if you just be with the energy of that, and then another thought will come to act out, and then just detach from that thought and be back with the energy, be back with the feeling. And you're doing this non-stop, uh, and we're going to do it for about, say, three or four minutes today. But you're practicing every time the feeling to act out, whether it be to throw up, to have a donut, to have a glass of alcohol, or if it's a, if it's a codependent relationship, to call that person that you shouldn't be calling. When the craving comes up, just be with the energy of it. Don't and let go of the story. Oh, I want to call that person who's bad for me. Oh, I want to throw up, or I, or I want to, um, I want to have a glass of alcohol, or, or I want to buy a new handbag, whatever it is. And just let go of the story, be back with the feeling, and then you're with the feeling, and the feeling will start to dissolve, but you immediately go into another thought, which may want to act up, but detach from the thought and be back. And the more you practice this, if you can practice this every day for five or ten minutes if you're in addiction, and just sitting with the feeling and not acting out and you'll be dissolving that energy of wanting to act out, of wanting to, to throw up, of wanting to eat that extra donut, to wanting to buy that new handbag, whatever it is. And understand that there's a finite amount of this energy. So every time you sit with this energy, over time the need to act out and whatever it is will start to disappear because you're dissolving this energy. Every time you have a feeling to act out with the throw up, have, have alcohol, call that bad person. Every time you don't do it and you feel it, over time that will get less and less intense and then eventually it will disappear and you won't have that need to do it. But every time you have a, an urge or a craving or a feeling to do something which is not good for you and you do it, you make the addiction stronger. And each time you don't do it and you just sit with the energy and allow it to go down and if, even if you can let it pass, I'll just give a story. There was, one, uh, there was one day I was working with someone who had, a, who had a, an overeating addiction. And I said to her, waffling a bit, I said to her, <clears throat> you 
you know, just we're going to sit with the feeling uh, until it pass until it passes. And she said to me, "Oh, I'll be hungry forever." So um, I, you know, there'd be no point in me sitting. So I said to her, like, "Okay, I'm going to sit with you, and if it's forever, we'll sit together forever." And and it, and it passed in 20 minutes, and that was the first time she experienced that if you sit with the feeling, it actually passes, and she became abstinent from her addiction. So it's a transformative spiritual experience when you want to act out on whether it's throw up or whether it's eat or whether it's buy a new handbag or whether it's call that person you know you shouldn't be calling. Each time you sit until it passes, your spiritual strength goes stronger. It's a spiritual experience, it's a transformation. So this can be done with addictive urges, with pains in the body, with aches and pains, uh, with cravings, uh, with fear, with guilt, with shame, anything. Just allow yourself to experience it. Don't put a story on it. You don't have to label it shame, guilt, or the urge to throw up. Don't make a story. Just be back with the energy and detach from the thought. Or if you go to a thought like, oh, I forgot to buy my bananas, let go of that thought immediately and be back with the feeling. And you're catching the thoughts quicker and quicker. So thoughts are not your friend. Let go of the thoughts and be with the feeling. Being with the feeling and letting go of the story and the thoughts is a quick way to get well. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to now have about, um, about four minutes of just practicing this in silence. And let's see how we do with this. 